Hey everybody and welcome back to some more Breath of the Wild Master Mode 3 Heart Challenge Run. Um, I guess we we'll, last episode we got here, we got this shrine. And uh, now I'm gonna go check out this uh, stable, see what they got going on over here. Some uh, stuff there. Let me uh, grab these uh, rush runes because we need them for a quest that I probably won't get until like much, much later. But uh, we'll grab them now. Because there's a quest where we need uh, 55 of those, and I have six. So uh, I got a way to go. But uh. You think I just, oh, damn, I got an amber under a rock. Great start to the episode, dude. Fucking found really good shit. Oh, I'm gonna drop that, and I'm gonna grab that. Yeah, that's just a better weapon. And, uh... What, what the, okay, there we go. Alright, I couldn't find my uh, hammer. Um, grab that, get some apples. And then, grab these shrooms. And there's- ah, is it raining again? Really? Okay, I know, it just got dark, alright. Oh, Hetsu! 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 My man! My man, talk to me! Shakalaka! Yeah! <laughs> Upgrade my weapon stash. Seven- what the fuck, dude? Never mind, then! Sorry! You, I didn't realize you were in fucking a goddamn desperate need for Korok seeds. The fucking Korok <laughs> economy is crashing, apparently. Um, no, no, don't. No, I need, I want to talk to him. Yeah, there we go. Yep, yeah, leave it to me. I'll make these uh, barrels fly. Um, do I have Octorock balloons? I have three. Perfect. <laughs> I have exactly enough. <laughs> oh, shit. What? What? Huh? What? <laughs> I didn't do that right! <laughs> Floaty balloons on the sky, yeah! Yeah! What? Why did you give me a star fragment, dude? <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Take, there we go. Anything in the barrels? I thought I was supposed to make the barrels float, uh, but I... I did not do that right. <laughs> um, I'm gonna walk away now. Where's Beetle? He's usually around here. Is everything good for me? Anything for me to buy and or sell to him? Where is Beetle? He's not here. He's usually always at a stable, right? Instead we got Hetsu freaking scamming me with Korok seeds. Am I just stupid? Am I blind? Where is Beetle? He's just not here. Whatever. Okay, we're going. We're heading to the tower. That's the plan for this episode. We get the tower. And actually, are we? We're by the. We're by the Quark Forest, right? Yeah, we're by the Lost Woods. Okay, cool. Good stuff's in there too. All right. Um. Yeah. Time to climb that tower. <laughs> Ooh, dragonfly! 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 Oh, it's gone. All right. All right. Uh. Oh shit, I'm running past everything today and scaring everything off. It's getting dark. I don't like that it's getting dark. Is it gonna rain again? Because I don't wanna have to. I don't want it to be raining as I'm trying to climb this tower. I'm pretty sure there's like a wizard by this tower too, and he like. Like a fire. Oh god damn, another thing flew away. Oh, these are birds. Okay. I thought it was, thought it was like a cricket or something, because I think I need crickets for a side quest too, if I recall correctly. I don't know if I completed that one or not. But I think I rem remember accepting it. Oh, that's another thing. I should cook food. I, I don't think I've cooked any food this playthrough. I've cooked one thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that's that's more of a me problem, honestly. It, it's kind of my fault rather than like. That's pretty decent, I guess. It is a two-handed, and it did. How much did it do? Uh. 27. Yeah, that's better. Okay. We'll keep that then. Um. Okay. Is there anybody around here? 
doesn't look like it. I know there's- Oh shit, there's guys. There, there are guys. Did you see me? Okay, at least he picked up the non-explosive barrel. That would have been a lot different if he picked up the uh, one that went boom. But it is raining now, and I have to climb a tower, and uh, I think he did hit the one that went boom. <laughs> I just saw an explosion go off in the background. I didn't really see it, but like I heard it. And see, there's the wizard I was talking about. All right, I'm gonna try and uh, do I have a? Nope. Okay, we do. All right. Got him. All right. No, 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 no. Oh, I wanted that. Well, uh, yeah, uh, whatever. It's not that big a deal. They can still shoot me even though they're like, you know, floating in the goop. They're like, not floating, but like, I mean, yeah, why are, why are Quarksuits attacking me if I'm like, in goop to begin with? Like, I thought they could only swim in water, but now they're like, shooting rocks at me even though they're like, floating as balloons too. What was I doing? Oh yeah, put on the climbing gear. That's right. Um. Cool, let me just climb this while I'm getting shot at by Koroks who want to kill me. Cool, great. I just have to sit here and watch him fucking juke him. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I stopped holding up. <laughs> okay, now I think I'm just too high for him to hit me. How high does this go? Am I gonna make it? I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Nothing I have refills my health. Like, please land on this. There we go. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright, back to climb. Fuck, oh, god damn it. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna hold up and I'm just gonna hope and pray. Okay, I think I'm too high for him to hit me. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh yeah. Climbing tower. Alright, you know, climbing tower, you know what that means? It's story time. So, uh, the other day I was at like a orchard, pumpkin patch thing, garden, <laughs> large farm, I don't know what they're called, I think it's just like an orchard. But, uh, yeah, I was getting, uh, pumpkins for Halloween, and afterwards we were like, hey, it's a nice day out, let's, uh, let's have a little picnic, shall we? So, uh, we got the food, and as we were walking back to, like, a picnic table, like, looking around, I just have to say, first off, don't ever go to have a picnic outside in fall, because there's gonna be leaves falling in your food, like, every five seconds, it's terrible. But that's not the only thing that fell into my food, because as we were walking back to the picnic table, a bird did a fucking drive-by and just dropped a massive dookie right into my sandwich. And it was like a fucking, like... <laughs> I was not happy about that. It was like a fucking, like, $8 one of those brisket sandwiches, too. Like, that was a sad moment for me. And the bird just fucking just dumped it all right into my food. Great. Like, that was my lunch. <laughs> I'm so glad that you could shit all over it. Oh, look, another amber, though. I guess that's pretty good, though. But yeah, massive dookie. Alright, let's see. Any shrines I can see in the cutscene? Uh, I think I just saw towers. I think there might be a core, actually, on top of the skeleton. Too, so I'm gonna go climb up top to the of the skull and uh grab that if I can in the rain. <laughs> Scanning area. Stalling for time. You got the map, cool. Alright, let's see uh what we got going on up here. Regional map extracted. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna climb up on top of this skeleton and uh, see if there's any uh, Korok seeds on top, because I get the feeling that there might be. So I'm gonna go for them. 
No! Oh god, I almost fell. <laughs> that would have been, uh... Not good. Uh... There's a sword there. I think this is a Royal Claymore, right? These are pretty good weapons. Yeah, Royal Claymore. Oh, damn! 52! What? Shit, dude! We're, <laughs> we're making back today! <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, this, this hammer's about to break. So, I'll grab that instead. I really thought there'd be a Quark seed up here. I guess there's not. I don't think, yeah, I don't think there is. Um, uh, yeah, let's, let's go into the Lost Woods. Okay, as we're getting close, it's gonna start getting foggy, like, right about now. Okay, cool. Alright, so, uh, the whole gimmick about the, like, Quark Forest or the Lost Woods, it's whatever you want to call it. Like, there's fog everywhere, prevents you from seeing, and if you run, like, too far in a random direction, like, off course, like, I'll just go over here, the fog will come grab you, and then put you back at the start, like this, see, put you right back at the start. Alright, so the whole gimmick of this is, like, you follow the flames, see, like, there's, like, a line of torches, and it, you just kind of follow them. And they will point you in the right direction. So yeah, if you ever get lost in here, just remember, follow the torches, follow the fire, follow the flames. Through the fire and flames, we carry on. Okay, but for this part, um, is there anything in here? Oh, there's a trench just in there. That's nice. I didn't know that. Oh, and a far shore spear. Too bad I can't take it. It hit this 11, and it's not worth it. Okay, um, alright, for this part, you'll notice that there are no more torches left so uh, what you do is you just what I like to do is I just put the camera over top of Link act like you're a classic 2D Zelda and you can kinda see the torch like where the embers are going they're kinda heading up like up forward for me so I'm just gonna keep walking forward and I just walk every couple feet and then stop and I just wanna check see now I know to turn and so just you just kind of follow the little ember path that it makes, and uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you get through this uh, this area little section. So yeah, in case you didn't know, um, happy to help you out. I think we're here. I think this is the ending. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run for it and hope this is the correct way. If it's not, well, uh, I got some explaining to do, but I think I think we're good. Actually, no, don't, don't whistle around through here, because I think there's, like, probably some stuff I can collect, like frogs or crickets. Um, I guess not. I thought there usually would be. I'm not seeing anything, though. I feel like every time, other time I run through this area, though, there's, like, 50 frogs <laughs> and, like, critters, like, running away. But, uh, yeah, here we are. We're inside the Quark Forest. Quark Forest, right there, on screen. For you. And, uh, what's that? Is that the Master Sword? It is. <laughs> Alright, guys. <laughs> Let's try and pull it with one to half hearts. <laughs> Link. You are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. Could you just imagine that? Like, the fate of Hyrule rests with you, and then you just see me doing a fucking three heart challenge run on Master Mode, running through the forest <laughs> setting everything on fire picking a fight with everything i see is that? did i doze off again hey it's a great decoratory well well it's you you finally decided to return <laughs> finally decided <laughs> that's like fucking loki <laughs> better late than never dude he's throwing shade at us at this point <laughs> he's like <laughs> Even my patience has limits, you know. Wow, wow, this guy just throws shade nonstop, huh? Look on your face tells me. <laughs> He's like, bitch, you kept me waiting for a hundred years, and now you're telling me you don't remember me? <laughs> like, <laughs> damn, son. Believe it or not, dude. Yeah, I know, it's hard to imagine that this guy actually was the person who could wield the Master Sword. If you sought to free the sword, Bet. This guy's really calling my ass out, huh? <laughs> Saying like, ah, you're weak, you can't, you don't deserve this sword. <laughs> you're not good enough. <laughs> I 
Yeah, pure sword. Alright, let's see if I can do it with my one and a half hearts. <laughs> Shocker, I can't. <laughs> you would have lost your life if you hadn't let go of the sword. Yeah, I know. Maybe, maybe there's still a chance. <laughs> anyway, um... Now that we're here at the, uh, Korok Forest, we now have access to Hetsu whenever we want. And there's also one more thing I want to try. Okay, so... I have never tried this before. So, uh... This is gonna be the, uh, first attempt for me as well. Um... He's right there. Okay. So, what I've seen people do, I've seen the, I've seen a video of this online, people make a campfire, they light the campfire, they look straight up, like right, right about, right about here, like where like the uh, sakura petals are, you sit, I don't think it matters what time you sit to, I'll just sit till morning, and then you just mash the A button. I'm mashing the A button. I don't know if you can hear it. But, uh... Yeah! Woo! I did it! First try! Let's go! <laughs> that was actually really easy. I didn't think I'd be able to do that. <laughs> so it's just... It's just gone now, huh? I just have it. Sweet! I didn't know that! Okay, cool. Awesome. Alright. Okay. I got the Master Sword, guys! <laughs> On my three heart run! Cool, alright. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just- that- I've never tried that before, so, um... Yeah. <laughs> alright, we're, we're gonna do the shrine. Here we are, Fateful Stars. Okay, so the whole gimmick of the shrine is you, uh, look at those, like, little constellations. And then you match them up with the uh, balls here. So a fun fact about this shrine, I read this and I saw look for the stars for guidance. And so my dumbass thought like I actually had to go outside of the shrine. I sat by the fire, waited till night and I just looked up at the sky and I started fucking like looking for constellations and stars in the middle of the night. Like <laughs> outside of the shrine because I thought I thought that's what it meant, but, uh, no, it, you just need to look at these things. So, uh, we'll start with that far one, that, like, bow and arrow looking one. I see, uh, I see two. So, we're gonna take that, and then we're gonna put the ball in that two. There's two torches there for two. And then, uh, that little, like, V looking one. Um, I see one... Yeah, I see one. Oh, yeah, so... Grabbing that V-looking one. And then... The, uh... Other V-looking one without the, uh, little extra stuff. I see, uh... One... One, two, three... I think I see three. So, we're going with three. Um, and then the last one is the little, like... Boomerang. <laughs> I guess. I see one, two, one, two, three, four, five. I see five. Okay, alright. Um, this should be the correct answer to the puzzle. Please go in. Buckets, alright. Um, it's fun. Yep, that was the correct answer. Okay. And that is how you open that door. <laughs> so yeah, don't do what I did and do not leave the shrine <laughs> and go outside and wait until nighttime. And then for this one, there is one bow and arrow, one, two, three, four, so two Vs, two Vs with the extra stuff, four little boomerangs, and one bow and arrow. So one, four, four, one, two, two, and four. One, two, two, for this one. And then, four. And this should be the answer to that puzzle. It was, good, okay. All right, now let's see what we got in this chest. Oh, uh, Knight's Claymore, that's pretty good, I guess. 
Um, does 38, it's a two-handed. I can drop, uh, yeah, that's fine. Drop that. Yeah, okay, alright, I'm, I'm fine with that. Alright, let's uh, get the shrine and get out of here. So, this puts us at 4, which means we can finally upgrade our uh, stamina wheel. Got a spirit orb, 4, right there. Yep, awesome. What's going on? Chosen one. Uh, yeah, that's me, chosen one. Yep. The hero called Link. That is also me. Um... The time has come. You are now ready to test the limits of your courage. Heed the great Deckers Tree's words at the sacred place of the Korok Forest. I am already there, dude. <gasps> Do so, and a glorious trial will be bestowed upon you. Sure thing. Oh, it's the trial of the sword. Okay. Uh, can I control the character? Alright. Cool. Alright, so uh, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like the video and subscribe. And remember, be good to each other out there. See ya.